Wow. Uh, one of my favorite voices, and she's just got such an amazing voice, is Jasmine Sullivan. Her runs and all her, you know, her melodies that she comes up with, it's just so, it's so fun to listen to, you know. She could sing me happy birthday any day. <laughs> it would be Happy Man by Chic. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of old 80s is on my playlist right now. I'm listening to a lot of old throwback stuff. Right now, I was listening to Tonight by Billy Ocean. The other day, I was listening to Chic, to Chic and like like I said, like um, um, there's a group called Delegation back in the day that I love so much. You know, the music from the 80s, you know, early 80s and late 70s is my favorite. And out of all the new people, I really love um, Daniel Caesar is really dope. Her, I think, is amazing. You know, as far as, you know, these are kind of, you know, people that write their songs and have a very personal take on their music. You know, Lucky Day is amazing. My boy Tank, you know, he's still doing his thing and he's he's not a new newcomer by any means, but he's definitely like a self-contained um, artist. And I really love that type of artist the most. The, the guy that does it or the girl that does what I do, you know, which is express yourself the way we, we know we can, you know. So anybody out here right now who's doing that that's the first people I pay attention to oh wow that's a hard question um, I would say you know what I'd, I'd pick my own album pick, I'd pick Cool Relax just because it's it's so comfortable for me to listen to that record I know what it took to write every song and produce every song and you know and record every song and the whole process of finishing that album was that was my second album but it was my I feel like my real, that's the one album that's the classic out of all my albums. I feel like everybody has to have that one. If you didn't have any of my albums, that's the one that you need to have. Oh, I say Marvin Gaye first and foremost. Yeah, yeah. I would love to work with Marvin Gaye. Um, October London is another name I want to say. Um, very Marvin Gaye. It's almost like Marvin Gaye incarnate right now. That's the closest thing we got. It's his voice. When you hear it, you'll know it. Check, it out. Check out October London. Yeah, for sure. I have an, uh, an album about to drop in the spring, actually. The uh, album is entitled Waiting on You. Um, the single for Waiting on You, the first single is called Waiting on You. And it's out right now featuring Tank. Uh, R&B legend so yeah I'm happy to be back with new music and uh, it's available on all digital platforms right now when I was writing Waiting on You I was thinking about pretty much all of the time that it takes to be patient in a relationship and if you're not in a relationship the time it takes to be patient to, to get to actually find somebody to be in a relationship and how waiting is such a, a part of that whole process you know and um, and sometimes it takes forever. Sometimes it feels like it's taking forever. But when love shows up in your life, it's always on time. So when it finally comes to you, it's always on time. So it's like it's worth the wait. I feel like the, cur the, the current state of R&B is in a... We're in a, a place right now where we're just now starting to embrace... Uh, I feel like a curve and a, a change in music. It's not going to just stay on the same narrow sort of like path that we've been on. Um, Trap Soul is, is, is not going nowhere, but I will say with addition to Trap Soul, now we're getting into like a little bit of the 80s, back into the 80s again. This, this bounce rock skate is coming back. You have, of course, Afrobeat, which is switching up the style completely, and Ama Piano, which is changing up the rhythms, but it's still R&B. So it's just a new way of flipping R&B that I love because I love bringing culture into our music, you know, deriving from Latin or whether it derives from African or whether it derives from European or whatever, the background, Asian, whatever. It's the beauty of, of all of the different styles and rhythms and melody ideas and combine them to is what we're supposed to do, you know? Oh, I love it all. I love it all, yeah. I want to say thank you to everyone who's ever supported my music for the last 30 years, you know, and I hope this new album brings you uh, some pleasure in your life, all right? Much love to everybody. <laughs>